Why do remote controls use infrared light? The invisible beam guiding your TV, you press a button on your remote. And boom, your TV obeys instantly. But here's the strange part. There's no visible beam, no spark, no sound. So, how does your remote actually talk to your TV? And why does it use invisible infrared light instead of, say, Bluetooth or visible light? Let's rewind. The magic starts in 1955, when the first wireless TV remote, called Flashmatic, was invented by Eugene Pauly at Zenith Electronics. It used a beam of visible light, but it had a big problem. Sunlight also triggered the TV. People's TVs were turning on and off, just because sunlight hit the sensor. So engineers needed something invisible. And... reliable. Enter infrared light. Light just beyond the red, we can see. It's silent, invisible, and perfect for indoor control. Infrared doesn't pass through walls like radio waves. So your Television 1T get mixed signals from the neighbor's remote, but it also works smoothly across a living room distance. A perfect balance. Here's how it actually works. When you press a button, your remote flashes a series of infrared pulses, kind of like Morse code made of light. Each button sends a unique pattern. The TV's sensor, a small photodiode, picks it up, decodes the pattern, and performs the command. Power, volume, channel, you name it. And guess what? Those little red bulbs on the front of your remote, they're not lasers, they're infrared LEDs. You can't see them, but your phone camera can. Try it. Point your remote at your phone's camera and press a button. You'll see the invisible beam flicker as a glowing light. Even today, decades later, most remotes still use infrared. It's cheap, energy efficient, and works without batteries draining fast. Yes, smart remotes with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi exist, but good old infrared remains unbeatable for reliability. So next time you channel surf effortlessly, remember you're commanding your TV through invisible light, traveling at the speed of, well, light itself.